C4 Labs hooking it up again, this time with a wood inlay case for the Raspberry Pi 3. It's all acrylic, but it's got rubber feet. It's got some mahogany wood accents, a cool mahogany wood inlaid Raspberry Pi logo. And it even comes with quite the little fan that you're gonna see in the fan test actually is not very loud at all. So this all-inclusive, well-cooled, artistic case pretty cool stuff so let's show ahead and show you how to put it together in my review on it and actually check out this fan as well all right this time we have a new case can you read that upside down wood inlay fan case so let's go ahead and empty out the contents again really well packaged between the cardboard pieces here and looks like it's a zebra style case, but this time it's going to have a fan. And a big fan at that. This is one of the bigger fans you can get uh, for the Raspberry Pi 3. I mean, you can go really big, but you know, typically there's two sizes and this is the bigger of the two. Inside here, you're gonna have all your hardware. Looks like they switched over all their, their uh, feet to these rubber grommets, which is nice. Um, heat sinks here. We're not gonna put those on, but if you were to put them on, you just peel them off. Um, big heat sink there, smallest one there, medium on the back, on the RAM there. All right, and something I like to do first is just remove all the paper off of these plastic pieces here. Pro tip is to wet them first, but I find C4 Labs is pretty easy. You know, they come off in one piece, and uh, once you get them started, they just go. finished all the pieces here. Cool. When you're all done, you should end up with a wad similar to that. And now we are going to proceed to do the build. Um, something I just really like about this case is one, you know, this mahogany is really beautiful. It's a little darker on one side. So really beautiful mahogany. But something that really sets this case apart is that this piece right here is wood. I don't know how well you can see that. But that's wood inside of acrylic. So it's called the inlay. I don't know exactly how he does that, but that's pretty cool to mix those two materials of wood, colored wood, with um, acrylic, clear acrylic. I like that a lot. I think that's cool. All right, so to get started, you typically want to build these bottom up. I think that's going to say, okay, remove the paper, remove the micro SD card. Okay, I forgot. See, this is one where I actually had a micro SD. Usually I don't have one in there. All right, apply the heat sinks. Okay, you already did that. Insert screws into rubber cups. So, yes, there's little cups, and um, there's a, um, there's, if you do them like this, if you do it the wrong way, you'll still see the top of the screw. If you do it the right way, the screw hide, hides inside of the cup itself. And then what it does is that ends up acting as an egg. It looks kind of like a plunger when it's all put together. It looks like a plunger. Anyways, that's gonna eventually go as a leg. The other thing to know if, with the, if this piece is up or down is when you put the heat sink on there with the micro SD the heat sink with micro SD, you can see there it's wrong because the these do not line up. So I need to flip this 180 degrees and now you have the micro SD and, the, and this all lined up. Okay, so we know that this is gonna be the bottom so we can go ahead and put our screw in there. Next screw plunger thing that we've been talking about inside and then up. Next one and then you just do this for the four Okay, we got two on, and then the last one. All right, so we got our, our feet on, our screws. Place screws through bottoms and assemble bottom up as shown in the illustration. Okay, so first thing I see is the wood piece. It's, it's black in this photo, but this is the wood piece here. There's the opening, there's the opening. So this one just goes on like that. Again, you'll know as long as the opening is towards the front where actually the micro SD goes. Then next we have the 
a really, really, it's typically this really, really thin plastic piece. You'll notice it's much, well, it's the only plastic piece that has the, has a whole hangman to it. These other ones don't have a hangman, so that's another giveaway. Um, and then as far as this goes, you want the thicker side towards the front of the camera. There's the thicker side, and you want the opening here, so that's going to go just like this. Be careful with this piece. I feel like it would be easy to break if you use it incorrectly. Then it says you have the front plate. Um, you want the power towards the front, so that kind of goes like this. It's kind of hard to put on there, though, until you start getting the next ones. Um, then you have the pie. So the pie, I like doing the pie and the plate actually at the same time. So put the plate over the pie. So I put the plate on the pie and then drop the plate with the pie in and it should all fit in there, yeah. So that's a good move right there. Next we have the um, the three L brackets. You got one, two, and three. It doesn't matter the order on these. And how do they go? Okay, they go like this. And then you just want to slide it all over. Okay, cool. And then we just have three of these. One, two, and three. And then you might be wondering, well, there's only on three screws. What are this little screw over here? This little, I'm going to tilt this. These little screws get these little pieces here. Three of those. One, two, three. All right, so we got the three on there. We got the three thin ones as well. We've got the front plate on. You can barely see it, but there's a little plate right there. We're not doing the heat sinks. Um, next up is the piece with the with has the dividers for this. So now we got to find that piece. Here it is, and that's only going to fit on one way. So let's fit it on one way. Okay, red on the second to last pin on the back, and then black on the third to last on the back. All right, and then we can throw this back on there. If I do it like this, it should be, I want it to push air out to, to add some ventilation here. And then we have the solid piece, and then we have the first piece of the pie. Oh no, it goes like this. Okay. Oh, there's a little hole here, I guess, for the power adapter. And then the last piece, there. And then we just want to get these all lined up. All right, now let's try the flip. All right, we flipped. And now we need our screwdriver. Okay. Wow, that actually looks really good. That looks amazing. Really nice. Really nice. You need a clear side here, clear side here. You can't get into your GPIOs, but I mean you're using your GPIOs for your fan anyways. And you can see the fan underneath the Pi logo. You can't actually get to that hole right there because of this clear top, but it's got that wood, wood inlay. You can see the wood accents around, and then you have the wood on top. Really nice. Ports, ports, heat sink, micro SD. You can still wall mount it. You can get to your RAM. It's got the rubber, so it doesn't make a lot of noise and stops. Really compact, portable case. You get the micro SD in and out pretty easy with your nail. And let's go ahead and test out this fan really quick. Let's get this camera down low. So we got the camera very close to the pie. I would say the microphone is within six inches. And let's just boot this up and hear the fan. Wow. So it is pushing out right now. So I do have, if you have the label on the top, that is pushing air out. 
That's what I wanted, was to get the hot air out of the pie. This fan is on right now. And this is how this is me talking my normal voice. Let me get it really close to the mic here. That is a really quiet fan. Now some of these fans tend to get louder as they kind of ramp up, but I mean, it's still quiet. I mean, it's still passable. Easy, easy, easy stuff. So we got the fan on right now. You can see the pies on, you can see the power buttons. So, I like it. A lot of people like a fan case, and I mean, this is gorgeous. This is, you know, as far as like, artistic Raspberry Pi cases that aren't clone cases. This is a beautiful case from the wood on the top to, you know, the wood. Let's put it upside down. To the wood on the bottom. It says C4 Labs. I don't see that, but it says C4 Labs made in USA. Really nice. I mean, they're a little bit of a puzzle to put together, but once you put it all together, it's nice. So there you have it, the C4 Labs Zebra Inlay Case. Really nice, I'll put links in the description if you are interested. I gotta give this one a solid A. I mean, it was fairly simple to put together. It has a really custom look. You get a fan, which I know a lot of people like that cooling fan. Um, you get the heat sink, so it's an all-inclusive package with a really custom design. So really nice, really nice, really liking it. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.